I'm sure it's hard to realize how big that is just from the video, but man, that thing is massive. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we just got back from a three-day road trip. Took a little trip up to the northeastern part of the state. Did a little Route 66 tour and some other places kind of nearby. And had a pretty good time. We'll share some of that with you guys at the end of the video if you're interested in seeing some of that. And then uh, posted some of that in our community page. But uh, what I really want to talk about is what the title of our video is all about. And that is that we are moving to the Philippines. Cecile, Liam, and I will be moving there this year to live permanently in the Philippines. So for us, this has been uh, kind of a five year long preparation, five years in the making of getting everything ready and preparing ourselves uh, financially and mentally and everything else to move ourselves over to the Philippines and, and live over there. We've kind of wanted to do this for quite some time now. And we've been planning this for quite a while. Uh, Cecile and I were married in 2016 and we bought our house in the Philippines in 2019. So we've been uh, working on paying that house off and fixing that house up over the last five years. And really we're at a point now, uh, just deposited the money in the bank the other day to finish our house mortgage. So it's just a matter of us being over there to make that final payment. Uh, we could send it over and have someone make the payment for us, but you know, when you've got several thousand dollars, you kind of hate to have anybody handling that money other than uh, yourselves because you know, things do happen sometimes. Things get lost, uh, accidents happen, things happen, and we don't want to put anybody in a position to be responsible for all that money. And also, we'd be a little bit nervous, you know, waiting for that payment to go through and everything. So we'll do that in person when we're there next time. But the money's in our account and ready to go. So we consider the house to be paid. Uh, we've got a few small remodeling projects left to do, which we can do those while we're there. Uh, so basically, the house is ready. It's mostly completely renovated for the most part and ready for us to start living in so we're excited and uh you know we're ready to go we've been every time that we go to the philippines and spend time at our house i always feel like i'm i hate to leave i'm not ready to leave so you know it's it's where i prefer to be i think it's where we're happiest we really enjoy our time there of course you know, everything's new and different for me over there, but we really do enjoy ourselves and we enjoy ourselves here. We enjoy our lives here in the United States. Um, it's not that we don't enjoy ourselves here, but we enjoy ourselves more in the Philippines. Uh, we, have a, we have a lot more fun, we're happier. There's more going on, our lives are more active. And that's not to say anything bad about our lives here, but we just find our lives there for us more enjoyable so we're really looking forward to being over there and moving over there um, you know life just kind of feels different over there everything is a little more exciting for me anyway uh, it's a lot more relaxed there's a lot less of the issues that we have here over there and there's a lot more, uh, le there's a lot less financial stress uh, in the Philippines. 
and of course a lot of that is how you, how you handle your money and how you live your life but um, things are definitely a lot cheaper over there uh, it'll be a lot easier for us to um, you know pay everything that we owe on manage our money I think we'll have a fairly small monthly budget over there compared to what we have here so kind of just looking forward to um, experiencing life over there it's a new chapter in life a new beginning a new adventure so I'm excited about that Cecile's excited she and you know of course she's from the Philippines she loves the Philippines and she enjoys being there and I think when you are in a good financial position a country like the Philippines can be very enjoyable to you a lot of people there that uh, have lived there their whole lives maybe they struggle to get by um, but they still seem like they enjoy life you know they're very happy people you always hear that people talk about how happy and friendly uh, people like that are and you kind of find that to be true with most people I think even people that have the least seem to be some of the happiest people because they don't get caught up in all the competition and uh, material things and all that that really kind of makes people unhappy it's supposed to make you happier but ends up making people unhappy so we're excited about all that and and like I said for Cecile to be there uh, and not have to worry so much about finances and money like before when she was a single mom living there uh, life is different for her there now also it's more enjoyable so we're excited about it we're excited about uh, starting a new life there and you know I'm at the point now where um, I feel like I am done with construction work I've been doing construction work since I was 17 years old and I really don't feel like I can do too many more years of this type of work so I'm kind of looking forward to getting out you know while I still ha have uh, decent health and physical uh, abilities so you know I'm looking forward to being able to uh, stop working you know I'm, I'm nearing my retirement age now uh, I'm 56 this year so I'm about six years away from an early retirement age and we feel like we're in a good position now that we can go ahead and make the move and not worry about having to me having to work any longer um, we'll just you know make it to that early retirement so um, you know I'm of course excited about that I'm looking forward to not not having to work as a construction worker any longer uh, it's been great for me it's provided me with an incredible amount of money over the years and you know a good career so I don't uh, want to discourage anybody from doing construction work it's a great way to make a living but it does take a toll on your body uh, year after year and the older you get the harder it is to continue to do things and when you start having problems like back issues or knee problems like in my case I have both of those problems as you continue doing that type of work later in life you start uh, you know causing more and more problems in those areas you're compounding your your issues so um, you know I'll be happy to not to continue to do more damage to my back and my knees uh, and also we feel like or I feel like you know I've spent so much of my life now working uh, almost I'll be going on 40 years soon it's time to enjoy life and live life just for myself and my family and not so much living life to make a dollar um, you know I'm, I'm ready to just relax and, and enjoy life and maybe it seems as though I'm young but you know as I've said in videos before uh, I have a brother who's a government employee and he retired at 55 so retiring at 55 56 is not really that unusual of an age to retire 
Uh, I think Cecile told me in the Philippines they get their retirement, their SSS at age 60. So, you know, I'm not far from that age. And working the kind of job that I do, uh, retiring in your late 50s uh, is not a bad, bad situation. Um, I don't feel like it's too young, but, you know, it's a, it's a rough life for an older person. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, like I said, we're just really excited for uh, the next chapter of our life. It's a new beginning. Uh, it's going to be a whole new experience. I've experienced the Philippines over the past, uh, let's see, eight years, I guess, since Cecile and I got married. So I've, I've experienced the Philippines in a few months, you know couple months one month a year over the past eight years so I've got a pretty good taste of what life is like there but now I'm gonna experience the day-to-day -day life in the Philippines year-round every season not just the good weather seasons and uh, you know experience the whole thing I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to the challenges and the experiences ahead and really looking forward to sharing all that with all of you guys as well We've really uh, ramped up our moving efforts lately. We've been shipping quite a few boxes over. We shipped uh, three boxes last month, and last week before we went on our trip, we sent five boxes, and I think we've already filled another three. So we're sending things for our farm property. We have some ideas for our farm property that we wanna do. We're getting some things that really are only available here uh, and getting them now and sending them over. So we've been sending more of our uh, household items, you know, trying to get the house set up over there for living long term. And then things that we've kind of been hanging on to until we got ready to move, we're starting to send now. So a lot of things still to send and a lot of things still to do between now and probably uh, early fall maybe uh, early winter somewhere in there we'll be we'll be making the final move our house here our plan is to sell our house here but we have a uh, kind of a uh, what do you call that a uh, we've made a deal that we're gonna try uh, moving to the Philippines for one year and kind of see how everything goes We'll hang on to our house here and if everything is going well we're doing well we're gonna stay there and uh, all that then we'll come back probably at some point and sell our house here and that's the plan we don't feel like we can afford to keep the house but you know things change from year to year and plans change if any way possible we can hang on to the house we may do that we don't like the idea of renting it out, so I don't want to do that. I'd rather just leave the house empty and use it if we come back to visit or something like that. But again, that's going to be very difficult to do, so the plan is to sell it. But we're going to be on a kind of a one-year trial basis with all of that first. And then uh, Liam, he's homeschooled now. Liam's been homeschooled for the past few years uh, we tried to get him enrolled in school this year in private school in the Philippines but we realized everything was gonna be cutting too close to the start of school so rather than rush and risk not being there for school to start and everything we decided we're just gonna wait and enroll him next year in, in private school and we'll continue his homeschooling this year and if we move to the Philippines during the school year this year he'll just continue with his homeschooling until until he's done and ready to start the next school year and then we'll probably uh, we're planning to hire a tutor to kind of help him make the adjustment from school here to school in the Philippines and make sure that he's up to speed on everything which we feel like he is. We feel like he's uh, maybe ahead of other kids his age. Of course, you don't really know, but uh, we feel like he's he's doing very well. And uh, 
we'll get a tutor to just kind of make sure he's good on everything and ready to go ready to attend private school there in the philippines so um you know exciting time big news for us big news for our channel uh we've let all of my family know everyone seems to be supportive of the idea and happy for us they know we've been planning this uh, for a while now so so everybody's excited for us and and we're excited for this to happen so we're looking forward to uh you know preparing everything now over the next several months and getting ready to make our final move to the philippines so we'll share that journey with you guys uh, if you guys are not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have you if you enjoy the videos give us a thumbs up so thanks for watching everybody, take care, and we'll see you on the next video. I see you struggle Like butterflies in water Can't get moving forward See your shoulders mm, Weighted down by armor You don't need that protection I will walk on glass I will run 10,000 miles and more I will get my eyes If you lost your sight I will run through fire I will carry the street. Okay, let's go back. So this little patch of Route 66 right here is only nine feet wide. You can see the edge of the road here and then the other side here. You can see the edge right here. Okay, so we ventured off Route 66 for a little while and we came out here to see Big Brutus. I'm gonna go up here inside of this and show it to you guys. 
pretty impressive piece of machinery. Let me show you guys standing next to it. Get an idea how big it is. Okay, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool experience, huh? Now look up. Oh. Oh, that's big. Oh. See where you were up there in the control box. That thing could scoop you up, no problem. sure it's hard to realize how big that is just from the video but man that thing is massive big brutus